Hello and welcome to Beal. I'm Ralph and I will guide you through this product presentation. I'm Road Marketing Manager here at the DT Swiss. So why this show? As some of you have expected, we are proud to launch our new DT Swiss ARC 1100 die cut disc wheel. And for this, we would like to give you some insights about construction, aerodynamics, and also the use of this wheel. And therefore, I have some guests invited, we have some guests invited, and we'll have these on our side. Representing the product management, it's Simon Vasma who will give us a closer look behind the technical challenges of creating such a competitive disc wheel. Simon himself is a passionate cyclist with a love to technical details. Then we have a little bit of a video report from image start from the wind tunnel before then coming back to Beal and we meet translate Imogen Simmons here in this studio in Beal. So with the Reborn Faster campaign we launched the ARC Aero wheels only last year. These wheels were recognized as being very fast and aerodynamic but one thing was still missing for our completion and you see it here on the screen on the right hand side. It's the disc wheel and though finally it is here and now let's have a closer look and gain some insights into the developing process of this ARC disc wheel. So Simon Vasma is just the right person who can explain such a complex product with a details, technical point to us. Welcome Simon to the show. Thanks Ralph for having me. So DT Swiss finally has its own disc wheel while the competition had won for such a long time. Tell us what took us really so long yeah, that's a good question. I try to give you a glimpse into the engineering process. So we here at DT Swiss are always checking the market for new innovations and new trends. And when you see um, the past few years, there have been a, major, a few major innovations on the triathlon and road market. You have wider tires, so you need to have wider rims in order to really make use of the gained width. You also have tubeless setups. And of course, the last thing, you have disc brakes that replace a lot of rim brakes on modern bikes. So when we saw these trends, for us it was clear that we want to incorporate them into our development process. So we set some cornerstones. We wanted to have a 20 millimeter inner width in order to make use of wider tires. We also um, wanted to focus on a lightweight construction and we wanted to have a disc brake uh, ready wheel set. So we wanted to have a disc brake uh, through Axle Hub. And especially the carbon construction uh, of our disc wheel was a really big point in order to make it lightweight. Because of this, we were using a uh, sandwich construction on both sides, and in these sandwich carbon layups, we are using an ultralight foam, which really helps to transmit the drive and braking forces uh, effectively. So I hope this answered your question, and it shows that it's a really hard and difficult task to do. So the last detail really explained how difficult it was to create such a competitive and such a technical um, extraordinary product. But as a part of the marketing team for us also design plays an important role. Um, we see the great design of this disc wheel, of the ARC disc wheel, but what if a rider is not a huge fan of red? Simon, tell me. This was also one of our concerns here at the PM department and in DT Swiss in general. And because of this, we added three more different nickel colors into the package. We have the red one, which is already on the wheel. We have a golden one, a chrome one, and a black one. And we also added the ARC flag, the little flag you can put on your front wheel, so you will have a color matching wheel set. And for me, Ralph, I am definitely a huge fan of chrome. What's your favorite color? What would you pick? Well, it's a good, good question. You got me on this. Um, I really like the, the red decal on a pure black bike, but with, with modern coloring on frames, the gold will probably be one of the strongest colors, I assume. Yeah, could be right. Yeah. But another topic a lot of athletes are interested in is the best rim tire combina combination. So we heard the ARC disc is really modern with a rim innervates of 20 millimeters, tubeless ready. Yeah. But what works the best for this wheel? That's a question we also get asked a lot, but we also dig into this. And as you said, we have 20 millimeter in a width. So you can use 25 to 28. It's optimized for this range of tire. But we really recommend you to use a 28 millimeter tire to make use of the gain comfort and to save energy on the long days 
in a race or in training rides. And of course, we also recommend you to use the tire tubeless in order to further uh, reduce the rolling resistance. And for this, we added all the necessary hardware. We have the tubeless valve and the pump adapter and so on. You can set it up really easily. And the last little detail you can see on the screen right now is our uh, integrated carbon cover that is tool-free for installation and uh, deinstallation. So you can set up your bike on the road or in your workshop super easily. Great details. Really, thanks for the insights into the development and the process of this, of becoming, having this great wheel. Thanks for being here. Thanks again for joining. So these are the hard facts of the wheel. But how, how would these, um, these facts would be in uh, reality working in the aerodynamics and thus giving us a higher speed? So we asked this question to Jean-Paul Ballard, our aero consultant from Swissside, when we met him a couple of weeks ago in the wind tunnel in Immenstadt. He was conducting a wind tunnel test together with Daniela Reeve, and here's what they said about it. Hello, and welcome to, the, to Immenstadt, to the GST wind tunnel. Some or most of you haven't been to a wind tunnel yet, and uh, we take a little closer look here at the wind tunnel and also learn more about the new ARC disc wheel. So actually this is where the magic of aero wheel development and testing is happening and also athletes use the wind tunnel to optimize the aero performance. Today we have Daniela Reef here and we will talk to her and to Jean-Paul Ballard from Swiss side about the new wheel. Um, yeah, in, I mean, generally it's always faster to ride a disc wheel. Um, maybe exceptionally if you go up a, a, um, a hill like Alp US or really steep long climb, it doesn't really make sense. But I prefer to ride a disc in most of my races I do, um, especially the flat courses, of course. But even when you have rolling hills or some climbing hills like in, um, in St. George, uh, it's, it's in general just faster. So um, the disc is, is always a good choice. The DD Swiss ARC disc wheel is very aerodynamic indeed. Uh, it's absolutely an industry benchmark disc rear wheel. We've done our homework on this one. So we started, of course, as always with the CFD development, uh, making sure that the, the shape uh, was optimal for uh, the aerodynamic performance. Uh, of course, tuning it also to wider tires. So now with the wider inner rim width, accommodating both 25, 28, or even wider tires still. Um, then of course, we came to the wind tunnel right here and did our testing, not just with the, the current DT Swiss wheel lineup, but against industry competition benchmarks uh, to make sure that it is indeed the fastest disc uh, in the world. Uh, what are the numbers? So compared to a 80, 80 millimeter front rear wheel setup, um, the ARC disc will bring you a 1.8 watt advantage at 45 kilometers an hour. But of course, with regards to sailing effect, it also enhances the performance in the wind. So you actually get quite a lot more than that on windier days. So overall, a super fast disc, great construction, lightweight, um, and gives you a definite performance advantage. So I hope you enjoyed the additional insights here in the image set of the GST wind tunnel. Thank you and bye. So back here in Beer, I'm happy to have my next guest on my side. It's Imogen Simmons from Switzerland, racing for Switzerland, and definitely one of the hot shots in Ironman racing currently. In 2021, Imogen had in spring really strong results in Ironman, Ironman 70.3 racing. Welcome Imogen to Beer. Thank you. Um, great to be here and thank you for having me. <laughs> so since spring you have been experiencing our disc wheel, our disc rear wheel in your bike, in your TT bike. And uh, how does it feel when you're riding this wheel in a race, in a triathlon race? Tell us. Yeah, so um, I've had the pleasure of being one of the early users of the, the new wheel. And so I've raced it in, twice now in Dubai and in St. Polton. And they were both quite different courses. So Dubai was super flat, fast and a bit windy. And I was taken aback by how smooth the wheel felt. Um, I was riding 25 
mill on the back and it was really comfortable ride and I was also impressed by the handling like often with a disc wheel or the one that the one, one of the ones that I've used before I haven't felt totally secure but I felt so safe I felt so steady on the bike and um, honestly very fast and um, <laughs> and in St. Paulton it was a bit more of a technical course and there was a climb a couple of climbs with some more technical descents and again the the with the disc brakes it was I just felt so comfortable on a, even at some points a bit wet descent and I just felt totally in control. So honestly, a true pleasure to be, to be riding your new wheel. So as we heard, it's not only an aero upgrade, it feels also for you that it uh, really um, has, gives you full control when riding. But what about the sound the disc wheel is producing? Sorry to have this on, on, <laughs> on here, but it's, it's a kind of motivational question which really fits to you. The sound of whoosh whoosh, how does it influence your performance? Yeah, absolutely. It holds your attention. Um, so now I'm in full Ironman preparation mode and on the and I can just envisage on the longer 180 kilometers, the difference that that motivational, that sound of sailing through the wind will make. Already on 90K, you feel that bit stronger. It it gives you that little bit of extra focus. So honestly, excited to do my next full Ironman on it. So this sounds like really motivation also for Absolutely, you? Absolutely, without a doubt, like that feeling that you're sailing and it certainly doesn't let you forget where you are. <laughs> so thanks for these great insights and uh, all the best for your future racing. Thanks for being here with us today. Well, thank you DT Swiss for having me and for letting me ride your beautiful new wheel. <laughs> So thank you for looking into the presentation show of the DT Swiss ARC 1100 die-cut disc wheel. Enjoy your ride.